Hi guys, so I already have my brows done for this video and I'm first going to moisturise my skin as always and today I will be using the Simple Rich Moisturiser. I mentioned this in my skincare video and it's a really light moisturiser even though it says rich but it just hydrates your skin really well. And then I'm going to colour correct quickly, I'm just using my LA Girl Orange Corrector. And you, want to, you don't want to use too much of this because otherwise it will mix with your foundation and you don't want that to happen. So you want to use the tiniest amount possible. Then I'm going to grab my Illuminator by Sleek and this is in the shade Monaco and I really love this um, Illuminator. It just gives it a really nice natural glow to your skin. And then for foundation I'm going to use my Revlon Color Stay for normal to dry skin and I'm in the shade Toast. And this, just, this foundation is just really good. I don't know why I haven't been using it much lately but I just remembered that it's such a good foundation anyway so I need to use it more often and I'm just blending that with a beauty blender and then my brush there's my sister just mucking about and interrupting my filming but anyways I'm going to grab my concealer and this is the naked skin concealer in medium dark warm and um, by Urban Decay and I'm just I just like to use this to prime my eyelids I just feel like it really does a great job at preventing creasing and it creates a nice base as well for your shadows then grabbing my Zoeva Cocoa Blend eyeshadow palette I'm grabbing this shade right here I don't know what the sh name of the shade is but I'll write it in the info box but I'm going to use this shade to apply on my mobile lid only you don't want to go in your crease area and then I'm going to grab this shade called Substitute for Love, I believe, and it's a warm brown light shade and it's a great transition colour, so that's what I'm using it for. And I just used a fluffy brush just to blend that in the crease and a bit more above it. Now grabbing this shade right here, I think this is called Freshly Toasted, and I'm using a flat shader brush to pack this on directly on my crease to kind of create a soft cut crease kind of look and I use a flat brush as well to um, define the lid shadow as well to define that line a bit more if that makes any sense and then I'm grabbing this dark brown shade from my Morphe 35O palette and just packing that onto the crease as well and I just wanted the crease to be really defined it's not technically it's not really a cut crease because if you really want that cut crease you can use cream products on your mobile lid but right now I'm just using a normal shadow and it creates a really really soft subtle cut crease so as you can see I'm just making sure that I'm always blending and going back with the flat brush with the mobile lid colour to kind of define that, cre that line a bit more but not too much. So then for liner I'm just using my NYC liquid liner and I'm just doing a normal wing as always. And you guys know me, I always like to go back with my makeup wipe to create that sharp line with my winged liner. And I'm also going to grab my eyelash curler and quickly curl my lashes. And then for mascara today I will be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational in Intense Black. It's like my favourite mascara ever if you're new to my channel. Now for concealer I'm going to use the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in Golden. Now you don't want to pack as much as I did, I kind of regret doing that, I put too much and you don't want to do that. So you, all, you only need like the tiniest amount of this concealer and then I went in with the Maybelline Instant Age and Wine Concealer in Nude and I just kind of mixed it in with that NYX one. And I just like these two together but the only thing is I applied a bit too much of the NYX one which kind of created that dewy look under my eyes which you don't want to be honest. And I'm just blending everything with my Beauty Blender. When I was done with the blending, I grabbed my Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and I used the yellow powder to set my under eye concealer. Now I'm going to use a bit of bronzer and I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep to quickly bronze up my face. This gives a really nice like bronze look to your skin and it also adds a bit of colour and dimension to your face. And I'm also going to add a bit of this sun-kissed bronzed baked blush, I think that's what it's called, and I got it from Primark. And this actually adds a really nice bronze glow to your skin, so I just added it on the highest points of my face. 
Then for lips, I'm going to use this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Can. And it's super subtle, but I did wish I kind of used the um, Gosh Flirty Orange Lipstick, which is a nice spring shade as well. Now I'm just going to finish the bottom bit of my eyes and I use this Nude Coal Liner by Rimmel. And I just um, line my waterline. These um, pencils are so pigmented, so if you haven't tried these yet, definitely go give them a go because they're so good. And then to finish off the look, I just added some mascara on my lower lashes and I used the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. And yeah, that's the end of this makeup tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did like it. And also, please leave me some suggestions in the um, comments below. It's always helpful. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.